Welcome to the Central Arizona Project. You already know water is critical to life everywhere, so it probably won't surprise you to know how much of an impact the Colorado River water that CAP delivers has had on our desert state. I'm going to help you learn a little more about our history, our amazing system that transports the water, the people who make it all work, and show you why it's improving the quality of our daily lives, how critical it is to our economy, and our state's future. To understand more about how CAP functions today, it's important you have a sense of our history first. Let's turn back the calendar to the 1900s, when the Phoenix and Tucson areas were much smaller and relied heavily on groundwater. Leaders understood Arizona's future would be brighter if they could increase the amount of surface water flowing to the central and southern parts of the state. They knew the Colorado River could provide millions of acre feet of water to the region each year. One acre foot of water is enough to supply three average Arizona families for one full year. The seven states in the Colorado River Basin and Mexico all wanted a share of that water, so they had to agree on how to divide it. The 1922 Colorado River Compact divided the states into upper and lower basins and allocated 7.5 million acre-feet of water per year to each basin. The upper basin consists of Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. Arizona, California, and Nevada make up the lower basin and each have set legal entitlements. In 1944, the Mexican Water Treaty guaranteed 1.5 million acre-feet of water each year for Mexico. With the water rights settled, Arizona leaders proposed a system to transport that water all the way from the Arizona-California border over here to the center of the state, where surface water was scarce and the population was growing. And in 1968, President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Colorado River Basin Project Act authorizing construction of the Central Arizona Project System. What I just showed you is a really brief look at some of the important takeaways. It took several decades, many agreements, and even lawsuits to sort out all of the details. But we've got to get this tour moving, so let's press on. Next, we're going to dive into the CAP Aqueduct. Well, not literally. But first, here's a little pop quiz to see how much you already learned. How many acre feet of Colorado River water are allocated to Arizona each year? If you answered 2.8 million, congratulations! You're ready to move on and find out more about CAP's amazing infrastructure. This 336-mile system provides both delivery and storage of Colorado River water. Construction began at Lake Havasu by the Federal Bureau of Reclamation in 1973. It was a massive undertaking that was completed 20 years later, south of Tucson, at a cost of more than $4 billion. Yep, $4 billion. You might have seen portions of the CAP Canal crossing through your community, but that's only a small part of what is truly an engineering marvel. It includes the Lake Pleasant Storage Reservoir, 14 pumping plants that lift water uphill nearly 3,000 vertical feet over the course of the system, one hydroelectric pump generating plant, 39 radial gate structures to control water flow, and more than 50 turnouts to deliver water to central and southern Arizona. It takes a lot of electricity to pump water across the desert and uphill, along with the rest of our operations. The control center at CAP headquarters is like the brain of this complex system. It's staffed by operators around the clock. They remotely monitor and control the system based on real-time data about water levels, flows, and system alarms. The operators aren't the only people working behind the scenes at CAP. But before we see what our other employees do, how about another pop quiz? Do you remember the name of CAP's storage reservoir? Right, it's Lake Pleasant, and it's located near the middle of the state and CAP system. Managing and delivering Arizona's water supply is a major undertaking that takes the hard work of a lot of people. Even though the federal government was responsible for the system's original construction, they required Arizona to pay back a large portion of those costs over time, and also needed an entity to be in charge of operating and maintaining the system. 
So in 1971, the Arizona State Legislature authorized the creation of the Central Arizona Water Conservation District, or CAWCD, though we typically call this entity CAP. CAP is governed by a 15-member, popularly elected board of directors with representatives from Maricopa, Pima, and Pinal counties who serve staggered six-year terms. The board and its committees assemble twice per month. Meetings are open to the public and live-streamed on our website. The board is tasked with setting the direction of CAP, including things like determining the price of water annually, based on projections of energy, operation, maintenance, and replacement costs. Besides providing water to our customers, CAP is also responsible for repaying the federal government for certain costs of construction. We are a public entity and we don't make a profit. So even though water is a precious resource in the desert, we have a responsibility to provide it at the actual cost of delivery. Nearly 500 professionals are in charge of protecting Arizona's rights to Colorado River water, administering lands associated with CAP, public outreach like this tour, and of course, carrying out the daily system operations and maintenance needed for delivering water. Yep, roughly 500 people are responsible for making sure that water is delivered to millions of Arizonans. That's pretty efficient. That means maintaining structures, confirming communication systems are sending and receiving signals, sampling water from the canal, repairing heavy equipment, and ensuring the canal is free from debris are just part of what guarantees the water keeps flowing to the users we serve. So who uses CAP water? Well, before we talk details, let me throw another pop quiz at you. Do you remember how CAP board members are selected? That's right. Residents of Maricopa, Pinal, and Pima counties elect them in a popular vote. Pretty amazing that millions of people have a voice in picking these elected officials, huh? When you hear CAP delivers water to about 60 customers, it might not seem like a lot of people, but the water is used by more than 80% of the state's population because our users fall into two categories. Municipal industrial, meaning a lot of cities and towns in the areas we serve receive CAP water before treating and delivering it to their customers, like businesses and households. CAP is also the single largest provider of water to Native American tribes in the Colorado River system. Tribes can use the water in their communities or lease the rights. The impact of the water CAP delivers is massive, contributing an economic impact totaling 40% of Arizona's annual gross state product. That's resulted in a stronger economy and raised the quality of life for Arizona residents. And that pretty much gets us caught up to date. But there's one more subject that's really important. How does CAP help shape the water future of Arizona? The water we deliver each day has already transformed the state. The Central Arizona Groundwater Replenishment District is a CAP department that replenishes aquifers as part of the state's commitment to protecting groundwater. Aquifers are areas below ground, made up of sand and gravel layers that store groundwater. They are replenished through a process called recharge. This helps communities manage their water supplies in a way that is focused on a sustainable future. Delivering water for the decades ahead requires creative solutions. That's why we've been collaborating for years within our state to leave a portion of Arizona's allocation in Lake Mead. We are also planning for the internal and external impacts of climate change, exploring new ways of transporting non-Colorado River water through our canal, augmenting our water supplies, finding innovative ways to conserve and leave water in Lake Mead, investigating ways to purify and treat wastewater for reuse, and focusing on efficient ways to recover water that has been stored underground. So the next time you turn the tab, and the next time, and every time after that, you can be certain that CAP is doing our part every day to reliably deliver water to you and all Arizonans in the areas we serve making it possible for families to flourish in our desert communities, for tribes along the Colorado River system to thrive, and for businesses to prosper here, which is essential to our economy. 
CAP takes our responsibility seriously and will continue to reliably manage and deliver water for future generations.